Did John see a green horse of the apocalypse? If so, what could it mean? John alluded to the seven lamps and two olive trees from Zechariah 4 in Revelation 1 and 11, respectively. Though there are commonalities of colors, the four chariots of Zechariah 6 have very different purposes than the horses of Revelation 6, and the fourth horse in Revelation is definitely not spotted. The white rider has a bow, but not arrows, no missiles or nukes. The word crown is stephanos, which also means a wreath for a prize in athletic games. The prize Islam obtained was the destruction of the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center on U.S. soil, a major victory en route to conquer the world. The rider of the red horse is given a great sword. Red Russia sold $1.7 billion of weapons to Iran between 2002 and 2005. In 2006, they stepped up their help towards a nuclear Iran. The Russian missiles will make an Israeli air attack less effective. Israel found many Russian anti-tank weapons in possession of Hezbollah. In August 2010, Russia stood in support of Iran's Bushehr nuclear plant becoming operational. Dark horse is a phrase used internationally to describe a little-known person who emerges to prominence. Obama was the dark horse candidate. Though the economic collapse began under President George Walker Bush, it will crash under President Barack Hussein Obama. The Hindenburg omen is an indicator of a stock market crash based upon the previous year's highs and lows and if more money is currently leaving the stock exchange than is being put into it. The stock market crash of 1929 was October 24th and 29th called Black Thursday and Black Tuesday. The October 19, 1987 crash was called Black Monday and October 6th through 13th in 2008 was called Black Week. Could the U.S. government or George Soros be holding back the crash until after the election in order to blame newly elected Republicans? Revelation 6-7 And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. John used the word chloros in chapter 8 to refer to green grass and in chapter 9 to refer to any green vegetation. John really meant a green horse. Is that really so fantastic in a vision? Saudi Arabia's flag contains the Muslim creed called the Shahada stating there is no deity but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. The sword represents justice. Pakistan's flag contains the dark green with crescent moon and star to represent the Muslim majority and a white strip to represent minority religions. The flag of Hamas has the Muslim Shahada. Hamas has taken control of Gaza and is funded by Saudi Arabia. On the Hezbollah flag, text above the rifle is, Then surely the party of God are they that shall be triumphant. The text below it is the Islamic resistance in Lebanon. Hezbollah is funded by Iran. Syria gives them Scud missiles. Revelation 6, 7 and 8 And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. And power was given to them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. World population is over 6.8 billion and expected to reach 7 billion by 2011. Muslim population is about one-fourth and they dominate about one-fourth of the land. If one quarter of the world's population is about to die, that would be 1.75 billion people. These same four judgments were prophesied against Jerusalem in Ezekiel 21 verse 14 and fulfilled through Nebuchadnezzar. Jesus Christ died so those who believed in him could have eternal life. In Islam, the only way to be assured of paradise is to die in jihad. That's why they love death. Not all wars in the 21st century involve Muslim countries, but a high percentage of them do. Not all Muslim attacks escalate into wars. Christian countries Zambia and Zimbabwe are also experiencing famine in Africa. 
Though Muslims want to conquer the world for Allah, they especially want to wipe out Israel and the United States. Muslims tend to attack Israel during their holy days. Jewish days begin at sunset, and this is a list of the remaining holy days for 2010. Israel has been preparing to take out Iran's nuclear facilities since the rest of the world has been too wimpy to stop Iran. Israel attacked Hamas in Gaza during Hanukkah of 2008. It seems Israel has been having clashes with Hamas and Hezbollah in even-numbered years, 2004, 2006, 2008, and now in 2010. So please pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Comet Lulin was visible to the naked eye it was so bright. Its nucleus contained cyanogen, a poisonous gas found in many comets, and diatomic carbon. Both substances glow green when illuminated by sunlight. McNaught found the brightest comet in 40 years in 2007 and found a green comet in 2009. Another astronomer named Macholtz found a green comet in 2005 and 2010. Auroras can be seen near both poles. The northern one is called Borealis and the southern one is called Australis. The most common aurora color is green. A coronal mass ejection on May 24, 2010 caused severe magnetic storms on Earth which broadened the latitudes at which auroras could be seen. The sky has had extra green signs lately, possibly foretelling the green horse is about to strike. Another green movement on Earth in these last days is that of environmentalism. According to Alex Streff, there are three different levels. The light green environmentalists are those who take personal responsibility for how their actions affect the planet. They are like John Muir, who founded the Sierra Club with the motto, Explore, Enjoy, and Protect the Planet. The bright greens are the intellectuals and entrepreneurs who have discovered solutions to sustain a healthier environment, but they often involve major social changes. The Green Party would represent them. The dark greens are the violent radicals like Earth First, Earth Liberation Front, ELF, Earth Liberation Army, and Green Anarchy. Some of these green anarchists have the desire to rid the Earth of human beings and go beyond their goal of zero population growth. The social changes green anarchists want are occurring in these formerly capitalistic countries. Where the green of Islam has not overwhelmed, the dark green anarchists prevail. Both of these green movements want to keep America dependent upon Arab oil. The Arab lobby began after World War II with the Saudi-led petro-diplomatic complex to keep America dependent upon Arab oil and portray Saudi Arabia as wonderful and conceal Arab investments in the U.S. and the U.S. arms deals to Arab nations. Soon terrorists will use our own weapons against us. The only U.S. president to stand up against the Saudis was John F. Kennedy, who demanded they abolish slavery. When Lyndon Johnson's mistress asked him about rumors of his involvement in JFK's assassination, Johnson shouted, the oil boys and the CIA decided that Jack had to be taken out. Black oil may have much to do with the economic crushing hooves of the black horse as it makes entrance for the green horse of death. 